let me share something intriguing that you might not be aware of. According to a recent report by CNN, there has been a decline in the number of young men actively seeking dates. Yes, you heard it right. Men are seemingly losing interest in pursuing romantic relationships with women. It's one thing to struggle finding a suitable partner, but it's an entirely different scenario when men aren't even making an effort. The report highlights that a significant portion of young men is currently single, while young women have a contrasting experience. In another thought-provoking study conducted by the Pew Research Center, they shed light on the historical rise in the number of single Americans. Their findings raised eyebrows within the academic community. One of the most fascinating aspects of their research is the fact that young men are twice as likely to be single compared to young women. As per the data, 66% of young men are single and not actively dating, while only 34% of young women find themselves in a similar situation. So, what's the underlying cause? It seems that many young men are growing tired of the challenges they face in finding suitable women within their age group. Instead, these women are opting to date older men, perhaps drawn to their perceived financial stability, maturity, and career accomplishments. Older men are more likely to have completed their education, paid off student loans, and established a stable financial foundation, be it through home ownership or other financial responsibilities. To a considerable number of women, these traits hold immense appeal and serve as attractive qualities. Numerous studies have indicated that, on average, women still desire partners who earn equal or higher incomes than them with a particular emphasis on the possibility of exceeding their own financial standing, it's evident that the dating landscape is undergoing a transformation, and young men are feeling the effects. Many find themselves disillusioned by the challenges they face in establishing meaningful connections with women their age, who often gravitate towards older, more established partners. This shift in dating dynamics raises questions about the changing expectations and preferences in modern relationships. It's quite fascinating to discover that since 2019, there has been a noticeable decline in the number of single men actively seeking dates or relationships. The percentage has dropped from 61% to 50%. In addition, 28% of men aged 18 to 30 reported having no physical relations in the past year, while the figure for women of the same age group was 18%. These statistics shed light on the power imbalance that exists within the dating market. When examining the realm of dating apps, it becomes evident that women have a significant advantage. The likelihood of receiving matches is substantially higher for women compared to men. Men are typically the seekers, the pursuers, and the chasers, which naturally places control of access in the hands of women. In the context of online dating, women can afford to be more selective when choosing their partners. It wouldn't be surprising if this dynamic extends to real-life situations as well. Perceived social values also come into play. As a man, your attractiveness can suffer a greater blow if you experience failures socially, financially, or in other areas of life, compared to women. In the current state of affairs, where many young people are feeling somewhat lost, possibly lonely, or facing setbacks, men tend to face more challenges in the dating market. A significant part of men's attractiveness to women is intertwined with their social standing, financial stability, and other accomplishments. Unfortunately, it seems that men bear a heavier burden in this regard. According to a CNN report, over the past 40 years, more women have graduated from college than men. Furthermore, women now own more homes than their male counterparts. The preferences of women in the dating market have shifted as well. It's estimated that around 50% of women will not consider dating anyone shorter than them. This illustrates that the average woman in today's dating scene, especially those between the ages of 18 and 29, desires partners who can acquire more resources and outturn them. One of the prevailing challenges I've observed is the discrepancy that arises when we examine the influence of social media. 
dating apps, and women's increasing financial independence. While women claim they no longer need a man to cover their expenses, an underlying expectation or desire remains for a man who can outturn them. It appears that women perceive reaching financial parity within a relationship as a loss. If a woman cannot find a man who can surpass her in earning potential and overall financial status, she may view him as merely a temporary amusement. It seems that women's mindset often changes only when they experience overwhelming desperation. As a young man, it becomes difficult to perceive any physical relationship as anything other than transactional. Pursuing other life goals and aspirations seems more fruitful than longing for the illusory notion of romance. As women continue to achieve greater financial success, their expectations and desires in a partner remain rooted in finding someone who still surpasses them in earnings. They seek someone who can provide more than they can in some capacity. This trend significantly impacts young men. For instance, if a woman graduates from college and secures a job, earning around $50,000 to $60,000, she looks around and notices that fewer men possess college degrees or display similar financial prospects. The result is a challenging dynamic for young men who may struggle to meet the evolving expectations of women who seek partners with higher earning potential. The pressure to excel financially becomes a significant factor in the dating landscape, potentially overshadowing other qualities and attributes that individuals possess. In today's dating landscape, we're witnessing a significant shift in women's preferences when it comes to choosing a partner. Suddenly, the majority of women with college degrees are no longer interested in dating men without a college education. The statistics show that around 70 to 80 percent of these women prefer a partner who has also obtained a college degree. This creates a challenging situation, as the number of men graduating from college is dwindling, and an increasing number of women are pursuing higher education. The tables have turned, and now, the vast majority of college graduates are women, while only 41 or 42 percent are men. This is a complete reversal from the 1960s and 70s when the majority of college graduates were men. Nowadays, fewer men are attending college and obtaining degrees than ever before. As a result, the dating market faces a significant challenge, with women's selection preferences narrowing due to the shrinking pool of potential partners. Consider this, it's not just about men struggling to find partners or enter into relationships. Men are also failing to build close friendships and establish in-person social networks that women find attractive. Pay no attention to the women who prioritize their careers above everything else. They are a lost cause when it comes to prioritizing marriage. However, most women are drawn to men with a strong social standing, respected within their social circles. Women are inherently social creatures and value men who have a thriving network of connections. In essence, the majority of modern women seek a partner who excels in crucial areas of life higher earning potential, greater intelligence, superior education, physical strength, and emotional stability. They want someone they can look up to. It's in their nature and encoded in their genes. However, the real question lies in what they bring to the table in return. Are they physically attractive, friendly, fit, feminine, and supportive? Unfortunately, in many cases, they fall short in these areas and lack the motivation to work on themselves because they believe that options are unlimited. Consequently, many of them remain single or end up divorced with children. Disturbingly, Projections indicate that by 2050, more than 50% of women in their 30s will be single and childless. The problem is real, and the future looks bleak for both genders. Hypogamy is the underlying reason behind this trend a concept where women seek partners of higher status or social standing. It's becoming increasingly evident that as men, we need to raise our expectations and stop catering to women's every whim at the expense of our own well-being. This isn't about seeking revenge or diminishing women. 
it's about recognizing the disparity in freedom when it comes to choosing a partner. Women have the luxury of being highly selective, while we men often find ourselves bending over backwards just to be with someone. This dynamic is detrimental to both genders, and it's essential to address it. A society with a significant number of lonely, frustrated, and angry young men is a ticking time bomb. If we allow this problem to fester, it could lead to chaos and destruction. Being single and without a partner is merely one aspect of the issue. In this modern world, many young men experience a deep sense of emptiness. There is a lack of purpose, a void that can't be easily filled. We go through the motions of existence, merely existing day by day in a world of superficial pleasures that offer fleeting joy but fail to provide lasting fulfillment. Gone are the days of great adventures, new discoveries, and heroic battles against evil. Our society has become devoid of genuine meaning and purpose. We've lost sight of what truly matters and have settled for an existence focused on temporary distractions and superficial achievements. We need to reclaim our sense of purpose, our inner drive for growth and self-improvement. Instead of seeking validation and happiness solely through romantic relationships, we must turn inward and find fulfillment through personal development, meaningful pursuits, and the pursuit of knowledge. And that's a wrap for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you give that like button a massive high five, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be the first to know when my brand new video drops. Make sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Until our paths cross again, cheers.